I'm Drew Wojewski, and today we're going to be showing examples of Newton's third law of motion. Newton's third law states that when there's an action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. Well, the opposite and equal reaction and all of Newton's third law of motion, I'll explain in these examples. This is Newton's cradle is the perfect example for Newton's third law of motion. As you can see, there are five spheres lined up suspended on a base with strings. Now, if I raise one of these spheres and drop it, it gives a cool effect for me dropping it. Now the reason why this causes Newton's third law of motion is mainly because when I drop this sphere and it goes down is the action force. The reaction force is once the opposite ball goes up, that's the reaction force. Now this is an equal energy transfer, so that goes with Newton's third law of motion. Newton's cradle is a good example of Newton's third law of motion. A simple example that you can do at home or in the classroom is simply pushing something. It would be better if it was some, that thing was heavy or if it was a wall. Now, if you try pushing this book, the action force is your hand going on the book. Now, the, op the reaction force is the book resisting you from pushing it. Now, the last good example is simply standing. If you think in your mind, why are you not falling through the middle of the earth right now? Well, the reason of that is Newton's third law of motion. Gravity pulls you down, you pull your mass down. But there's a reaction force pushing you up that is keeping you from going to the center of the earth. All these examples are perfect for Newton's third law of motion. With the cradle experiment, the opposite forces are when you, when you drop it, it goes completely the same way opposite when you drop it. Say if you cut a symmetrical shape in half, same thing on the right side has to be on the left side. That shows that in Newton's third law of motion, when I drop it, the opposite ball has to go up and down the same way. That's for the book and or wall experiment, the opposite force acting upon your hand is the wall resisting you from pushing it. Also with the book, which is right here, it's when when you try to push it, which would be on a table, but say my hand, when I push it would be resisting you from pushing it. The opposite force is for the standing experiment is when the floor resists you from going down by the supports from around you and also the floor Thank itself. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.